the the reason I say that they could be the best team, and Vegas agrees with, with you know at least being better than the uh, the Red Sox, the Yankees took a lot of the things that were bad or or not top flight last year and made them better, and the Red Sox they took a step back because their bullpen is totally unproven. You lost your closer, who didn't do well in the postseason, but certainly played a huge role in them winning 108 games. So you're looking at Ryan Brazier possibly closing for them. You lost Joe Kelly. You're going to have to play Dustin Pedroia essentially with a new knee uh, for 110 games at second base. I mean, a, a great Red Sox team, the defending champions. I don't think they got better, Don. I think the Yankees got better. I think the Red yeah. Sox took a, a tiny step so back. So there was eight game different last year. So is that enough to make up the gap? Uh, did the Red Sox lose four wins? Maybe. Did the Yankees gain four wins? Maybe. Again, I, I yeah. don't know how it's going to translate into victories. But on paper, I think the no, Yankees I think are better. You're right. But you know, bullpens are always kind of weird, right? Where yeah. you know they end up being better than you expected, and you go out and acquire somebody who was great last year, and they dip the year after. Who knows how it's going to work? Both teams should be able to hit, and these are clearly the two best teams in the division because the Blue Jays, Orioles, and and Rays, I don't think are going to threaten. Although the Rays had a good year last year, but are they get, are they better than they were last year? So I think it's still just down to the Yankees and the Red Sox. One win, one team wins the division, the other team gets the wild card. Well, if Tulowitzki ends up even returning to 70% of what he was, and then I mean, they're, they're going to play him maybe four or five times a week. They're not going to push it. Then they've made up some ground. And if he's not good, then Glaber Torres moves from second to short, which they think he can handle. And DJ LeMay, who is a former batting champion and a three-time gold glove winner, he'll slide in and play second base every day. I think they're covered. Now, the reason I say they're better than last year, they have James Paxton, who many people think has the stuff to be an ace. They've got Jay Happ from the beginning of the year. They've got Zach Britton a year, an off-season removed from the Achilles problem, and they have him from the beginning of the year and Adam Adovino, who is just death uh, out of the bullpen, especially against righties. I'm sorry, their bullpen is phenomenal. Their starting staff is better than it was. And, yeah, the DD thing is certainly an irritant, but I think they're better than they were last year. And remember, you might have a full year of Luke Voigt, and you might have a full year of Greg Bird, who was non-existent last year. He had under 200. And I also think, maybe I'm off my rocker, Don and Peter, I think that Gary Sanchez is not going to hit 180 whatever this year. I think that Gary Sanchez is going to return to being an offensive force, and it remains to be seen if he makes improvements on defense. But Gary Sanchez can't have the season he had last year. All of those things, to me, say they're going to be better. I don't know. Right. Again, I could be wrong. I'm just trying well, to read the tea leaves.